Hello everyone, this is Donna of Prima Donna Crafts. Today I would like to share with you um, a technique of making industrial elements for um, a layout. Um, these sort of elements would go perfectly with the um, Graphic 45 steampunk, steampunk um, collection. Um, I made I made a mini um, with a collection recently and I just felt that it lacked uh, you know some of these elements and um, because time was so short I um, didn't have the time to um, make these elements they it was in my mind and then I um, saw a video by Rachel O um, recently um, and Rachel O113 who did a video um, called Mixed Media Technique for Cloison. I hope I've got the words right. Um, and um, she shows a very, very awesome technique. Um, and do check it out. Because I didn't have the, um, the necessary material, you needed UTEE -E in black. I didn't even know that it existed. I had to compromise and um, I came up with my own version. But, you know, can you imagine if I had this element and stuck it there, it would really, really, really make the page um, um, come alive. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a few more elements to this uh, mini, so it's not um, finished yet. I just want to show you what um, some of the stuff I've made. These cogwheels, for example. Lovely. Um... This is another machine part. Don't know what it is really, what it's used for. Um, these metal bits, you know, with pieces stuck on it. Sorry, excuse my industrial hands. I've had no time to wash or, um, and I thought, you know, being a, an industrial theme, you know, having these sort of hands would be just perfect to complement the, the theme. Here, you see these lovely, lovely structures. Um, these cogwheels are beautiful. I just love the structure and how it turned out. And these clocks are fantastic as well. I love the colours. It's really awesome. Um, and there's, you know, I love the structure these um, two um, oval um, cutouts. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for but um, again a clock it looks very antique looking doesn't it. I'm going to distress the ages eventually I've just made these so I haven't had the time and I had some of these key elements and chipboards and I did the same thing I wanted them to look aged and um, this was a K&N company um, element and um, I didn't like the how it looked then. So it looks beautiful now with the um, structure. Um, and then some Myrood um, wings. Um, I've used a Myrood stem for this. Really beautiful. And um, I think with the clock it would look just so beautiful, perfect together. Anyway, coming back to um, my technique, um, what I've done is I just used a plain um, piece of cardboard, cardstock, and um, dabbed the surface with Versamark, and this is what I used. And then um, after the first um, after you've dabbed it and um, verse marked it, then you use UTEE and the UTEE that I've used in this case were these. This is the bronze, platinum and um, gold. So um, I did two, between two and three, um, three times um, dabbed with verse mark, then UTEE, um, the um, cardstock and then heated the um, cardstock and um, on the third time if you're doing three times um, 
you know, before it dries, when the um, UTE is still warm and you can see that it's still, um, it's sort of runny, use a, a structured stamp like this one and just, you know, press it down onto the card. And lift it off and sometimes you would get the um, UTE coming off and sticking to this stamp, but you can get rid of it. And um, then you get these lovely structures. They're, they're, they're really gorgeous. And I noticed that, you know, um, rubber stamps are the best. I've also tried with um, the clear ones. It does work, but um, I think the rubber stamps are the best for this um, sort of method. And um, if you watch Rachel's video, she uses Perfect Pearls as well. Um, at some stage after the third, um, the third UTE um, being heated, she rubs, dabs on uh, Perfect Pearls. And um, on some of these elements I've used it, like this one. And uh, on some I haven't, like the cogwheels, I didn't, um, I skipped over that stage. So I've just got this. So there is a difference if you use Perfect Pearls and um, if you don't. So these have got the Perfect Pearls added. And um, then you're wondering how did I get all these elements, you know. What I did was, I didn't have a stamp, I had Tim Holtz mask. And... Um, these masks from Tim Holtz. I turned the um, cardstock on its back, um, put the um, the um, mask down, dabbed um, with some distressed ink. So it's very quick because otherwise, you know, if you want the image on on the cardstock, you would have to go around with the pencil. So I found that dabbing it with distressed ink, you know, you got the image very quickly. And then, of course, um, I did it. Um, I had to go around and cut it with a pe uh, pair of scissors. So that's how I managed to get these um, elements, um, the images. So um, have fun. You know, um, I wish that I had done this. It was in my mind, you know, when I was making my steampunk uh, debutante uh, album. I wish I had done it then and um, added these elements. But as I, um, as I said before, you know, I'm going to do it now and um, let you know how I get on. So with that, I hope everything is as clear as mud. And um, if it's not, please uh, check out Rachel's video and um, she, she explains it beautifully. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.